What's going on, peeps? Right, this is Chris's video, not my video, and it's his first video on his own, so uh, bear with him. <laughs> um, I forgot to say something on the last video that I uploaded of the auto folding wing mirrors when you lock your car, and I wanted to say a big thank you to Mark Hagen or Mark Hagen, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce your surname, but he is the lovely chap that I managed to get a hold of that actually managed to decipher the bloody instructions for me because he'd done it previously on his and I found him in a forum on Facebook and he was very very kind and sent me pictures of what he did so the credit really goes to him because I didn't know what the hell I was doing I just wanted to do a tutorial video of it because I know it'd be helpful and it clearly is because it's had a lot of views so just wanted to say a massive thank you to Mark really appreciate it dude thank you very 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 much now I'm going to hand the video over to Christopher so you can see what he has just bought himself. Hope you enjoy. Good luck, Chris. See you in a bitch. Yeah. yeah. What up, guys? It's Chris at Cowabunga Car Diaries. Flying solo on this video. So a bit nervous about, but you know Ben, he's, uh, he's giving me a list of things I have to go through. Uh, before I go any further, Obviously, I uh, want to say massive thanks to all the new subscribers. It's incredible that, you know, we're gaining so many subscribers at the minute. Uh, thanks for your support. Right then, on to business. Well, as you all know, I sold my Premiera uh, a few weeks ago with a particular car in mind of what I wanted. And now it's time to reveal what car I have purchased. is the Honda Civic Type R FN2. What a machine. Well, obviously a few little bits on this car. Uh, the handles, for a start, was painted by the previous owner, which ain't that good. So hopefully soon, because my birthday's coming up, I should get some nice uh, new carbon ones for that. Uh, these wheels as well, these wheels are fantastic. The bowlers. Yes, hello rocks. Right, hello. Say hello then. Right, now do one. Go on, get. As you know, Ben's got these on his car, and I think you know. A bit upset the fact that I got them with the car, but there you go. Uh, seeker spoiler, I think, because you know, want to make it my own. Obviously, don't want it to be the same as Ben's, so I think that'd look quite nice on there. Oh, I just love this car so much. Interior wise, well, it's like brand new inside. It's so clean. And I've literally just given this car a quick hoover out today. That's all I've done to it. It's so clean. Love it. So yeah, uh, toying with the idea of lowering. Ben obviously wants me to lower it because you know that's just Ben. But there you go. It does look a bit, <clears throat> a little bit hard on the rear on the on the rear there. I must admit. Yeah. But, yeah. As you know, my driveway isn't the best to get in, so I don't want to be scraping the shit out of it. Amazingly clean under this engine bay as well, guys. <laughs> Literally, cannot believe how clean this thing has been so well looked after.
um, modifications under the bonnet. Well, it's already got the K and N filter on it, so I don't really want to be changing that. Rocker box color, obviously. This rocker box is in great condition as well. I'm actually quite surprised. Brilliant condition. But obviously, we're doing a bit of a color change on that. Obviously, uh, front splitter as well. Even though I think it actually looks pretty cool standard, but well, Ben's like, he talks me into all sorts. Mugen grill as well, that's probably going to go on. Uh, also, there'll be a short shift going on here as well. Uh, got a new gear knob coming soon from uh, Toxic Knobs, so we'll be doing them a review on that one when it arrives. Um, doubled in unit, I've ordered the fascia for it. And the wiring loom off of the group, which is fantastic, really good price. So that's what I get the stereo because obviously, as you all know, guys, with these, the stock sound isn't great. So um, that'll be going in, possibly uh, under the seat sub at some point. That'll go in. So yeah, lots of little bits and bobs to get on with. So yeah, things are going to be pretty much doing um, calipers. I'm thinking of going black, gold writing on, going for the black and gold theme. Um, obviously, I've got the stickers to go on as well, representing uh, the group. Um, wind deflectors, they should be going on. Uh, solar plexus tint, which you've seen in the previous video that Ben done. Um, yeah, so it's just lush, I just love it. It's so amazing. It's a great car. I can see why so many people have gone about these. I mean, I know they get criticised for stuff, but hey ho each to their own right but yeah i absolutely love it such a great car i mean it's just excuse the mess i haven't did it out yet but yeah even down to small little things like all the original stuff so with it all this it's just all Right, exhaust system wise, I'm not actually sure what this is because there's no description or anything on the box. So I'm not actually sure on this one, guys. So if anyone can comment on what they reckon it is, then it'll be very much appreciated. Right guys, that was the tour of the car. Now I think it's time to cue cinematics. <laughs> guys there we go that was it my solo video <laughs> uh yeah great times to come i hope everyone's keeping safe as well in these hard times hopefully things might start getting back to normal soon but we shall see well so anyway guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe as a lot of you fantastic people have lately um yeah all good so thanks for watching peace out